Girls, I know you'll understand this and feel the intrinsic and incredible emotion. You've just been given a sweater that belonged to a boy. Now, you haven't had a passionate kissing session or anything, but you got to go on a camping trip with him and ate other people from school, but you practically slept together. Your sleeping bag was right next to his, and you woke in the night to watch him as he slept, but you know, you couldn't see anything because it was dark. So you just laid there and listened to his breathing and wondered if your heart might burst. The sweater has that kind of goat-like smell which all teenage boys possess and this smell will lovingly transfer to all your other clothes. If you get to keep the sweater for a few days, you can sleep with it. But don't let your mom see because she'll say, what is that filthy thing and who does it belong to besides the trash man? You're going to have to keep it under the covers with you. You can kind of lay it by your side or, you know, wrap it around your waist or touch it with your legs. That's your business. If the sweater has like a reindeer on it or is a funny color like yellow, then you'll know that you're dealing with someone who's different and different is not what we're looking for. We're looking for those, you know, beaver type features and that kind of blank stare which passes for deep thought, at least the notion that somebody's home. You're looking for the boy of your dreams, who is the same boy in the dreams of all of your friends. The sweater isn't really going to fit you, of course, so you're going to have to kind of roll up the sleeves in like a jaunty way that says this is a sweater belonging to a boy and not some hand-me-down from your brother or father. Monday, wear that sweater to school. Be calm, look cute. Don't tell him about the dream you had about the place the two of you would share when you get older. Just be yourself. Definitely wear lip gloss. He looks at you and then you look away and then he walks away. You get a note passed to you by a girl in history class that says, I need that sweater back. I forgot you put it on in the tent on Saturday and I have been looking for it. And you don't have to die of humiliation, you know. You can still hold your head up high and run from the classroom tearing that stinking sweater from your body. You look at that sweater carefully and you realize that love made you temporarily blind. You've got a secret now and although you'd never sink as low as him, you could blab it all over the school if you wanted. The label in that sweater said 100% acrylic. <laughs>